Amy sent me an email asking what actually is anemia. And she was actually asking a twofold component of this. And this was, could her husband become anemic? And the answer is absolutely yes. Let's go back to what is anemia. When you lose blood, what you have a tendency to do is you lose your body's ability to carry oxygen. This is why women who are on their menstrual cycle will be very low on energy because when you have hemoglobin in your blood, hemoglobin is where you carry oxygen in the blood. So let's kind of back up. You have a menstrual cycle. If you have a long or heavy cycle and you lose blood, you're going to become anemic. If you donate a large amount of blood, you've taken a large volume out of your closed network system, you can run the risk of becoming anemic. Something that people don't realize is every time your foot hits the ground, you actually destroy red blood cells in your system. So this is why if you consider yourself an athlete, being anemic is a, is a, excuse me, is a serious issue, and if not caught early, could become a significant problem. So how would you know if you're anemic? Obviously, the first thing you could do is go get some blood drawn, and you could come back and see if your RBC, your red blood cell count, is it in its normal ranges. Let's just assume that it is for the sake of this conversation. Now we want to look at a component of your blood, which would be, do you have enough iron in your blood? Iron is a precursor to hemoglobin, and as we said, hemoglobin carries oxygen. So when you look at iron-rich foods, high-quality meats, particularly red meat, I know uh, for those of you that are vegetarians, you guys have to be a little bit more creative on, on finding ways to get the iron. But the bioavailability of red meat is probably the highest and, and the easiest way to get it. Obviously, we're assuming that you're not getting junk meat. You're getting good, high-quality, free-range. So let's walk this through. If you are able to extract high-quality iron out of your food products, that's going to then per permeate and penetrate the blood, which then allows you to be able to carry more oxygen. So let's kind of go back full circle. If you've ever been around a female that's had a menstrual cycle and they complain that they're exhausted, it's because the iron count in the blood has gone down and they're carrying progressively less and less oxygen. You as an adult male, you too can be anemic because if you're exercising, if you're not eating enough foods that are high in iron, right, for the, the oxygen to be carried in the blood, the, the hemoglobin has to be there. You see how they all work together both forwards and backwards? So if you find yourself just really lethargic, I would just encourage you bump up your iron intake from food products. Very, very, very serious component is please do not take iron supplements without the direct supervision of your physician. There is something known as a toxicity of iron, which means it can hurt you severely and even kill you. So that's why we never advocate, or excuse me, that's why we never prescribe or suggest iron supplements to any of our clients. That's at the discretion of a, of a professional. So keep that in mind. If you find that your energy levels are starting to wane a little bit, stop and ask yourself, are you eating iron-rich foods every single day? Let's assume that you are, and you're still finding yourself that you're lethargic. That's when you have to look at the other side of the equation and look at the volume and the intensity of your training. You could be eating lots and lots of food, but unfortunately the burn rate of the iron is higher than what you're taking in, and eventually you're gonna end up in a deficit. So now we look at the idea, what is anemia? It's having low iron counts in the blood, which means you carry less and less oxygen in the blood, and the result is you're physically, excuse me, physically, mentally, and emotionally tired. Is that from food? Could be. Is it from doing too much volume or too much intensity? Could be. Obviously the worst case scenario, not enough iron coming in the diet, too much volume and or intensity, you're gonna be absolutely exhausted. So. Next time you're starting to run into some energy issues, just stop and look at your food intake for the last couple days, and maybe it's an iron intake. Like I say, there's never one shoe fits all to all sorts situations and circumstances, but I did want to shed light on this specific question. What is being anemic? What does anemia do to your overall energy levels? And then how would you correct it? Eat foods that are higher in iron and adjust your training accordingly. Also make sure you're getting enough sleep so the body can rebuild itself. 
As always, love having these questions come in. If you happen to have one, please do me a favor, send it in. It could be a frustration, something that you need clarification on, and you can do so by sending it to contact at coachrob.com. We're answering a question every single day, and I want to say thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow.